Hello friends, welcome to yet another experimental based video of my channel Bioha. This video demonstrates the process of osmosis and it can be carried out in the science lab as well as at home very easily. Before starting, let's understand the meaning of the term osmosis. What is osmosis? Osmosis is the process of movement of water molecules from a region of higher concentration of water to a region of lower concentration of water through a semi-permeable membrane. Here you came across one term, semi-permeable membrane. So what do you mean by a semi-permeable membrane? A semi-permeable membrane is a membrane that only allows movement of solvent molecules such as water but restrict movement of solute particles across it. Plasma membrane of a cell is also semi-permeable membrane. The process of osmosis, which is one of the important processes in biology, it was first thoroughly studied in 1877 by a German plant physiologist Wilhelm Pfeffer. Osmosis occurs in all living cells and in case of plants, it helps in keeping these cells turgid, it helps the roots to absorb water and it also helps in ascent of sap. So having understood the basics of osmosis, now let's observe osmosis with the help of an experimental activity and the aim of this activity is to study the process of osmosis with the help of potato osmometer or potato osmoscope. Requirements We need a medium sized potato, a cutter, a watch glass, a petri dish or any shallow container like this one, 20 grams sugar, a scoop, distilled water, a stirrer and a marker. Now coming to the procedure. Step 1. Prepare a solution of higher concentration. So in this experiment we are going to prepare 20% sugar solution. So for this we have to take 20 grams of sugar, pour 100 ml of distilled water in it and dissolve it completely with the help of a stirrer. Here your 20% sugar solution is ready. This solution can also now be called hypertonic solution. Step 2. Preparing the potato cup. For this, you have to take the potato with the help of a cutter. Cut and slice out a cube from it. Please do ensure that the potato skin is removed while making this potato cube as potato skin is made up of dead and thick layer of cells which may interfere with the results as it slows down the process of osmosis. Scoop a deep cavity into this potato cube. Proceed very carefully and patiently to ensure that none of the sides or the base are ruptured or damaged. This cavity has to hold 20% sugar solution. Hence, no leakage is acceptable. In case it does get damaged, take a new potato cube and start afresh. Now notice, the potato cube has taken the shape of small cup, a potato cup. Base of potato cup should be as flat as possible. Step 3. Making of an observation window. I am going to replace one side of this potato cup with a transparent plastic sheet so that the changing level of the solution inside this potato cavity is clearly visible. However, in most of the lab manuals, this step is not there and observation is carried out directly from the top of the potato cup itself. But with a little bit of hit and trial, I was able to achieve it. How this can be done? Let me tell you. 
First remove one side of this potato cup with the help of a cutter. Now take the plastic sheet and securely stick it to the potato with the help of any waterproof glue. In this case, I have used Fabiquick and I have found it to be quite effective. Now trim the protruding sides of plastic sheet with the help of scissors. The observation window of our potato cup is ready. Keep the potato cup dipped in water in a watch glass to avoid its drying up. Step 4 that is setting up the potato cup as an osmometer. Here take a petri dish or any transparent shallow container. Fill it up to half with distilled water. Take the potato cup and with the help of a marker, mark a level somewhere in the middle of the observation window. It is up to this level that we shall fill the hypertonic solution that is our 20% sugar solution. Now carefully place this potato cup upright in the container like this. Here, I am going to color this 20% sugar solution to achieve better visibility for noticing the observation. I am using 2 ml of methylene blue stain. You may use any stain or dye of your choice. Now take this blue colored sugar solution in a dropper and fill the potato cup up to the designated mark. Now your potato osmometer is ready. Why is it called an osmometer? It is called so because it acts like a meter in which you are able to observe and measure the changes in solution level occurring due to osmosis. Step 5. Keep this experimental setup undisturbed for about 4 hours and observe the changes in the level of solution inside this osmometer at regular intervals. Will the water level rise or fall? What do you think viewers? So let's check it with the help of observations. Two hours have passed. You can see through the observation window that the level of solution inside the osmometer has risen. Now four hours have passed. You can clearly see that the solution level has risen further. Mark this level for comparative reference. Comparative status of solution level clearly shows inward movement of water from the outside of osmometer in the cavity of this potato cup. So on the basis of these observations, we can conclude that the water molecules, they move from the solution of higher concentration of water molecules through the semi-permeable membrane of potato cells towards the solution with lower concentration of water molecules due to the process of osmosis. Now when you have to perform this experiment in your science lab or at home also you have to take care of few precautions and the precautions are Precaution number one Potato cavity should be carved out without damaging the sides and base of this potato osmometer. Second, base of the potato osmometer should be as flat as possible. Third, the plastic wall should be watertight when glued onto the potato osmometer. Fourth, potato peel should be removed before carrying out this activity. Fifth, Mark the change in solution level in the osmometer very carefully. Sixth and the last precaution is that this experimental setup should be kept on a stable and flat platform. I'm sure that you must have understood and liked this fun-filled activity. 
So do give it a try and observe the process of osmosis yourself. Good luck.